I'm Mark Matsumoto, and today I want to show you how to make a creamy Japanese sesame dressing. I'm also going to show you a few tricks to up your salad game, so stick around! Here in Japan, salads can show up as part of any meal, and the trick to a great Japanese style salad is to include a good variety of textures, tastes, shapes and colors. And you also want an umami rich dressing that clings to even the most slippery veggies. And this sesame dressing is one of my favorites. Let's get started by checking out our ingredients. For the dressing, I'm using a half cup of Japanese mayonnaise, a third cup of sesame paste, three tablespoons of rice vinegar, one tablespoon of maple syrup, one tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of toasted sesame oil, one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of ginger juice. I've shown you how to make ginger juice before, but to recap, you want to grate the ginger, and then you can gather up the pulp with your fingers and squeeze out the juice like this. For the salad, I like to use a colorful mixture of hard, soft, and leafy vegetables like carrots, tomatoes, cucumbers, and lettuce. And microgreens like broccoli sprouts or baby radishes are a great way to add some extra flavor to your salad. When you're buying lettuce, look for a head with a white stem. You also want to give the head a gentle squeeze to make sure it's firm. Even the best head of lettuce goes through a lot on its way to your kitchen. So what do you do when you end up with limp floppy lettuce like this? Well, the easiest way to rescue tired lettuce is to soak it in cold water. You can soak the whole leaves or even the whole head, but by tearing the leaves up like this, you speed up capillary action. It's kind of like how breadcrumbs will get soggy faster than a whole loaf of bread. Similarly, you can resuscitate almost any leafy green or vegetable like these radishes, or even these cucumbers and carrots. While we wait for those to wake up, let's make our dressing. I've got a mixing bowl here and I'm gonna add the mayonnaise, sesame paste, rice vinegar, soy sauce, maple syrup, sesame oil, ginger juice, and salt. Then I'm gonna whisk this together until it's nice and smooth. Japanese mayo is more tangy and umami rich than Western varieties, but other types of mayonnaise will still work, and you can even use plant-based mayo to make this vegan. Okay, this is looking perfect, so I'm gonna transfer the sesame dressing to a squeeze bottle to make it easy to use. By the way, this video isn't sponsored, but I'm a big fan of these OXO squeeze bottles, and you can pick them up on my Amazon shop using the link in the description. For the salad, I'm gonna start by cutting this Japanese cucumber into thin slices. If you can't find Japanese cucumbers, Lebanese cukes will work just as well. Then just line these up like a fan. For the carrot, I've already peeled it, so I'm gonna trim off the top and we're gonna use the top two inches. Then I'm gonna cut this into very thin slices. Now I'm gonna line the slices up. And then we can julienne them into thin strips. You could use a shredder or mandolin to speed this up, but I prefer the texture of hand-cut carrots, and it's a good way to practice your knife skills. For the tomato, I'm gonna remove the core by going around the stem in a circle with the tip of a knife. Then I'm gonna quarter the tomato, and depending on how big it is, you may want to cut the quarters in half again to make the wedges thinner. Okay, let's check on our lettuce. You can see the leaves are nice and rigid, and can you hear how crisp they've gotten? Let's drain these. Now I'm just gonna dry the lettuce in a salad spinner. You can also do this with paper towels, but a salad spinner is way more efficient, and you can pick one of these up on my Amazon shop as well. 
Before we assemble our salad, I want to take a moment to thank everyone for supporting my work here. Whether you're subscribed and you've hit that notification bell, or you've signed up for my secret stash of recipes, these are just a few ways that you can support my work. If you've learned something new from this video and you want to help, hit the link in the description down below to see what you can do. I'm going to start out by putting down a base of lettuce into my salad bowl. I like using a shallow bowl with gently sloped sides like this, which makes it easier to plate. Then I'm going to add a fan of cucumbers towards the back and off to one side. Next, I'm going to line up the tomatoes in front of the cucumbers. And let's drop a radish in the center. Arranging a salad is kind of like putting together a bento box or making a flower arrangement. So have fun with it and make adjustments until you're happy with the way it looks. Okay, I'm gonna add a stack of carrots off to the other side. And we have just enough room for some broccoli sprouts. These are gonna add a nice mustardy flavor and our salad is done. Let's drizzle on some of that creamy sesame dressing and we're ready to eat. Pretty easy, huh? But here's the tough part. Let's try this out. Itadakimasu. All right, let's mix this up a little bit so we got the dressing covered all over the veggies. You can hear how crisp that lettuce is. The key to a great Japanese salad or any salad really, is to have a variety of textures and colors in there. So let's get some cucumber and carrots and I'm gonna try to get a tomato on there as well. Mm. The sesame paste and mayonnaise make it nice and creamy, but you've got that vinegar in there that keeps it from getting too rich or cloying. The beauty of this creamy sesame dressing is that it's not just for salads. You can use it as a dipping sauce for shabu shabu or boil up some ramen noodles and chill them to make hiyash chuka. The possibilities are almost endless. All right, let's go in for the radish here. <laughs> Great texture. This creamy sesame dressing is easy to make and super versatile, so I hope you'll give it a try. Mmm. So what'd you think? Let me know what Japanese salad dressing you want to see me make next down below. All right, I'm off to go test some more recipes, but check out this playlist for more Japanese home cooking. And I'll catch you in the next one.